Hey traders, I wanted to share a couple of things that we're doing in our live trading room right now that we feel gives us edge in our trades and uh, a couple of things that have really been working well for us. So I know that the knock to anybody that dares to share any of their own personal trades on a social media platform gets roasted for is, oh, they're just cherry picking and showing their best trades. So obviously it's important to go through your losing trades as well, but it's also important to talk about what is working for you. I just attended an online mastermind over the weekend and I was really hopeful uh, that this was going to happen. And it did where they would, you know, go individual by individual and say, what's the best thing you've got working right now? What's the best setup right now? And I think that's important stuff to share. So I wanted to talk about uh, maybe, well, I've got two of these right now to share with you. The one that I want to share with you right now is on zero DTEs and uh, just really the concept of trading with an edge. So, you know, first and foremost, I think we, we need to establish what, what does that even mean? online mastermind over the weekend and I was really hopeful uh, that this was going to happen and it did where they would you know go individual by individual and say what's the best thing you've got working right now what's the best setup right now and I think that's important stuff to share so I wanted to talk about uh, maybe well I've got two of these right now to share with you the one that I want to share with you right now is on zero DTEs and uh, just really the concept of trading with an edge. So, you know, first and foremost, I think we, we need to establish what, what does that even mean, trading with an edge? Well, here's the technical definition of an edge. An edge, a trading edge, is a trading method or an approach that helps to accumulate more profits than losses. That's it. Uh, notice that it is not a system or approach that avoids losses that doesn't have losses every trading strategy out there eventually has losses because there's no such thing as a hundred percent guarantee in the stock market that's not really the issue people really have issue with trading uh, that that generates losses that's how it works guys the point is that your profits should be bigger than those losses okay an edge can be either a strategy or you know maybe it's a piece of software maybe it's technology uh, maybe it is psychological fortitude we talk about uh, you know having uh, just that impermeable sort of mental fortress as a trader um, or persistence or, or maybe a unique uh, perspective or understanding of market, market movements. Maybe you have a unique approach to managing risk where, you know, maybe your trades don't work all the time, but you are making sure that your losses are smaller than your, your wins, right? Whatever. Basically anything that allows someone to succeed in making profits where others may fail. So that's the idea of building edge. Now, of course, a couple things to note with this, uh, just because you have developed a strategy or a setup or an approach that has edge, it doesn't guarantee you success, right? Um, the best example, I think, of edge creation are casinos. Now, uh, casinos are in the business of gambling. You would probably assume that gambling is not that safe. Yet, casinos consistently make money. Now, it's not a guarantee that a casino is going to make money, but yet they, they seem to uh, pretty consistently do that over time. And that's because really, no matter you know what game you choose to play in the casino, they have an edge. They have an advantage. If you take all of the casino's games and you add them up and uh, you, you, know, you average them out, 
most casinos are probably somewhere around 51% to 53.5% uh, is their edge, meaning they win 51 to 53% of the time, they lose the remaining amount. And of course, they're trying to keep their risk one to one. Uh, I always thought it was interesting. You don't see them so much anymore, but I remember growing up as a kid going down I-15 southbound from Utah and going through Vegas and you would see the billboards. And these were common billboards back in the day, um, you know, enticing you to come into the casino, enticing you to play their slots because their slots were the loosest in town. Their slots were going to be, they give you the best opportunity to make money. And this is what you would see. You would see signs that said, hey, we have a 97.4% payback. What does that mean? Well, essentially what it means, you know, if you have a 97% payback, what that means is that on average over time for every dollar that you put into a slot machine, you're going to get 97 cents back. And they're using that. They're advertising that as, hey, this is good. This is good, right? And I always thought, man, what a racket. If you like that, I mean, people literally will line up to go into casinos. If you like that, I'll do that with you all day long. You give me a dollar, I'll give you 97 cents back. But people don't necessarily understand what edge means. And so casinos, of course, they're great at doing that. But there's another approach too that you can use called event contracts, okay? Now, for us, there, there's all kinds of different event contracts that you can trade, but we're trading primarily four different types of event contracts. And again, you can do them on different underlines. This is just an example of the S&P 500. And the four different setups that you could use, something like this, right here, basically is a yearly range. You know, where will the S&P trade between over a 12 month period of time? We don't use those because we're more interested in the zero DTE setups, okay? So there's uh, what is called uh, a, a, a above or below level. And above or below is just simply picking a price. Let's say when I took this snapshot that the S&P was at 5068. And you can say, okay, uh, what are the odds that you, th you know, the S&P right now is at 5068. What do you think the odds are that we will finish above 5075 today? Do you think we will or do you think we won't? So if you're really good at finding and divining support resistance levels, which by the way, little plug for our level to level trading website every day, we put our intraday levels up for you. And when we trade this set, this setup on a daily basis, those are the levels that we use to determine whether or not that's a trade to take. Uh, but that's one version of a zero DTE. Is it going to finish above or below a certain price? The other one is a range. You know, it, it, will it finish you know, above 50-50 and below 50-74. So those are op opportunities as well. Uh, we don't do those as much, uh, but those still come into play every once in a while. And then of course, the what, what, what can potentially be an easy one depends if we're consolidating uh, and range bound or we are directionally biased on the day. But on those days that we're directionally biased, this has probably been our highest probability of success setup. And it's just simply, will the market finish green on the day? Yes or no? Will the S&P today finish green? Yes or no? And uh, so those are the four different types of contracts. And, you know, it's binary in nature. They call them binary setups because it is like a light switch. It either works or it doesn't. Look, the market's either going to finish green today or it won't. There's nothing in between. It's either going to finish inside of this range or it won't. It's either going to finish above or below this, this price level or it won't. So that's the nature of binary setups. Now, 
Event contracts with binary setups, what are they and how do they work? Well, the idea behind these event contracts is, again, that it is a go, no-go situation. So we can create a little bit higher probabilities with these types of setups. Now, one thing that I need to make mention of, because I'm sure somebody that's an old timer here will be like, oh, binary options, those are horrible. When binary, binary options, while they are really building popularity right now, uh, they've been around for a long time and they pretty much were horrible. They, 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 they got uh, one of the um, uh, very special uh, warning letters from the SEC that went out to the general public saying, hey, you might want to be careful if you're going to trade these things because they are all or nothing setups. And originally, and still to, the, to this day with some brokers, they are all or nothing setups. So, you know, if you said, uh, well, I, I think that the market is going to finish up today because maybe we were up and you thought that, you know, uh, buyers were greater than sellers and we're pushing higher. And then some crazy thing happens midway through the day, tanks the market, now the market's red. Okay, it's all or nothing. It doesn't matter if you put 50 bucks into this trade or 5 million into the trade, you lost it all, right? It, 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 there was no gradients in it. Well, that's no longer the case if you're using the right brokers. There are just a couple of brokers in the United States right now that have done away with the all or nothing, meaning that even though the result and your success or failure on the trade is binary. So in other words, you're, you still need the market to finish up. You still need the market to finish green on the day if that's the particular setup that you chose for that day. Uh, but if it goes against you, you can trade it. Now, you can exit out of it. It's not like it used to be, which is like a sports bet. You Go to the uh, the the the, the uh, Tyson uh, Douglas uh, boxing match, and you place your bet, and you can't you know two rounds into it go change your bet or you know pull half of it off. Um, it's all or nothing. So it's not the case with the proper uh, brokers today that are providing binary options. You can trade them. You can you can go in and out. So you can build stop losses into them. And you can say, you know, I, I'm willing to risk 5%. I'm willing to risk 10%, uh, what have you. So that's really opened the door uh, to binary options. And it's really created uh, a game-changing opportunity because of edge, okay? Now with them being tradable and with them creating edge, it's pretty impressive. And I want to just show you an example of this going back. It looks like uh, it looks like back to February 26th here. I wanted to show you the last week or so of our trades in our trading room that we've done here. Not because they were amazing and we were so smart, but because pretty much every single one of them I was wrong on. Every single one I was wrong on. Uh, and yet they all ended up making money for us. So uh, this one, uh, new event contract, zero DTE. S&P will not finish above 51.25 on the day. 5% ROI potential on that trade. Uh, looked like a bearish day to me. Market started to push up. That got threatened, but it still made money. Second event contract, NDX will not finish above 18,100. 6% ROI potential on the day. That trade went out at a full profit. And again, what I thought was going to be a bearish day, bullish, started to push up against that. But still, that, that went out at a profit for us. Uh, the 23rd, uh, zero DTE on the S&P 500 will finish green today. 25% return potential on the day. Looked like a very, very bullish day. 
um, it, 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 it was by the hair of our chinny chin chin that we squeezed out a profit on that. It was a full profit too. It was a full 25% return, but we just barely squeezed that out. Same thing here. Uh, second zero DTE of Anna contract of the day. NDX will finish above 17,900, 7% ROI potential. Same deal. NDX started to sell off near the end of the day. We just barely squeaked out a full profit on that. All of these trades were trades that I was wrong on, okay? And the vast majority of them, a couple of them we took early profits, but the vast majority of them went out not just profitable, but at full profits. Uh, event contract for the S&P 500 won't finish above 5,105 percent ROI potential. Same same deal there. Barely, uh, you know, I was wrong on the day, wrong on the price action, still worked out. Uh, this one, this is an interesting one. I won't spend too much time on that one, but um, will the Fed hike rates in 2024? And the uh, question is by how many times? And I think we we, we selected that they would not uh, raise rates in 2024, about an 8% return on that one. That's already sitting at about a 2% profit. We'll probably pull that off at a 3 or 4% profit. So we won't be sitting in that all year long. Uh, looks like we're looking for like maybe three rate cuts this year now. Um, the next one down here though, second event contract of the day, zero DTE on the NDX, staying above 17,300, 9% ROI. One of the things that you'll note on these is that the potential rate of return, we usually have to be in both sides of the trade on a zero DT. We have to have calls and puts. Uh, and we have to have it uh, go pretty close to a full capture, 85, 90% profit capture to be able to generate a 10% return. If we can generate a double digit return, 10% in a day on a standard zero DTE, that's a lot. That's perfection for us. That's as good as it gets. And we're looking at trades that are generating 9% returns that were just single sided. You know, it's just one side of the trade. And, uh, and we were wrong in it. We were wrong in it. Uh, it, it just continues on and on 20% return, 14% return. Um, and these are all trades that we've not been very accurate on our predicting. So the reason that we've been successful with those. I have to think it's not because of my astute knowledge because I was wrong on pretty much all of them. It really comes down to that edge. Okay. So a couple things to think about. One thing that I think is interesting with event contracts, generally speaking, on a side-by-side -side comparison basis, you're getting better deltas with an event contract than you are uh, with um, uh, uh, a, a normal standardized brokers. In fact, let me jump into my event contract for today and I'll just show you this real quickly here. Let me see if I can jump in there. Okay, so here are uh, here's my event contract for the day today. Yes, this is it right here. So our event contract for the day today is will the S&P 500 finish uh, above 50, 50. Right now, as we speak, uh, it's 50, 67. We've got about an hour and 45 minutes left in the day. So it's up 5%. It's got about a, a, a 10 uh, or 12% potential return on it. But if you look at that trade, see if I can open this up here. Uh, if you look at that trade, um, well, let me see if I can just grab it here, maybe. Yes. Um, so 50, 50 is the level that we're looking at on that trade, right? Well, if I bounce over to the 50, 50s on my options and I say, you know, we would want to have it finish above that, that's an eight delta. That's an eight delta trade right now. Well, if we go back again to uh, the, the event contract that we're in today, uh, you can see that it is uh, sitting right now at... Uh, about 97, so it'd be a three delta. Eight deltas versus three deltas. Eight percent probability of uh, that leg getting hit versus a three percent probability. That is edge right there. So that's what we're talking about when we say generally 
for this for for a like kind side by side comparison trade inside of your standard brokerage account we're going to get better deltas that gives us edge okay theta erosion window for these zero dtes is longer you guys know that there is a trade off for everything and the longer you wait in the day to get your zero dte set up going the more transparency you have and probably the more accurate you should be with your results but as you continue to wait theta erodes the value of those options and you are exchanging premium for transparency well you get a little bit longer theta erosion window here um, with the binary setups we can usually wait uh, sometimes as much as an hour and 20 minutes later in the day to get on the same premium that we would have gotten an hour and 20 minutes earlier in our standard brokerage account. This is of course huge. Premiums can be 5 to 22 percent better in a side-by-side -side strike comparison. Um, you know, I, I, again, you saw uh, one of the trades over the last week that was, that one was admittedly very high, but 25% return potential on a one-sided trade, 12%, 10% is not uncommon. And those trades would be much, much, uh, th those premiums would be much smaller. That ROI potential would be much smaller. Uh, again, we're really thrilled if we can squeak out a double digit return, a 10% or better return in our standard brokerage accounts on a zero DT with both sides of the trade on. And in certain cases, we're squeaking out 15% with just a one-sided trade using the, uh, the binary setups. They're also generally more forgiving. You can, if the trade is not working, but you think that it might come around for you, you can sit in these trades a lot longer than a standardized brokerage zero DT. A lot of zero DTEs, you know, if it doesn't start working in the first hour or two of the day, you've got to adjust it, bail, do something. Not the case here. So there's a lot of potential edge in these trades. And I think, again, I would love to say that we have had so much success with these uh, because we're just so astute at our entries. I've been horrible on my entries this whole entire last week, and we have had just tremendous, tremendous success. Now, I had one of our members in our trading room mention these to me. I didn't even think about these, but these are huge as well. If you really want to trade zero DTE, but you don't have $25,000, so you are subject to PDT, guess what? These zero DTEs, you can trade them all day long. You can go in and out all day long. No pattern uh, day, day, day no no pattern day trading rules apply here. So that's fantastic. The other thing that's nice about this is that the buying power is much more efficient, much more efficient. And you know, let me show you a, a challenge with regards to that with buying power. So here are our uh, our. Uh, two standard uh, zero DTEs for today. This is the my index, and I apologize. I'll, I'll try to scroll up through these. They don't all fit on the screen here. Um, this is my index trade, and you know, again, uh, we got about an hour and forty minutes left in the day, and uh, the trade is nicely profitable. This is a trade that I used one contract on the on the NDX, uh twenty wide, about eighteen hundred dollars of buying power committed to the trade. It's perfect, right? $1,800 in, $220 of credit back. We talked about double-digit returns being just the perfect result for us. That would be better than a 10% return. It's fantastic. I would like at this point, you know, there's an hour and 40 minutes left in the day. I, would, I feel good about the trade. The trade looks good. It's obviously cash flowing for us. I would like to be able to um, start scaling my profits out. I can't because I only have one contract. <laughs> so the, the, the only way to de-risk this trade is to close it, right? And I'm gonna leave some potential profit on the table. It's the same deal here with the SPX. Um, I've got one contract on 10 points wide, so that's $1,000 of capital that I've put into this trade, and I brought in $200 of credit. So that's fantastic. That's a 20% potential return. Again, 
Got an hour and 40 minutes to go. The trade looks really good right here, uh, but I'd like to start de-risking it. I'd like to start taking some of these profits off the table. I can't because I got one total contract. So the only way to de-risk this trade right now is to go ahead and book the profit and exit the trade. That is not the case with event contracts. So uh, today I have 9,000 contracts uh, with my, my $8,800 or so. I have 9,000 contracts on this event contract for the S&P today. V number one, buying power is much more efficient. So you, 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 you got a whopping $50 to your name. You can go trade. Position sizing, buying power should never be an issue with these because you, you can trade with 20 bucks if you want to. You can trade as small as you want. But for me, what's valuable about this is that I can scale out. I can slowly start scaling out these positions and have the best of both worlds. I can start booking some profits, uh, but still leave the remainder to work and potentially get more. Okay, so I love that aspect of it. I, I ha had not thought at all about either of these. And these are two huge aspects to trading zero DTE that are challenges for a lot of people, but they're solvable here with event contracts. Uh, again, if you come to me and you say, I got a thousand bucks, you know, how do I go build that? It's hard. You know, it, it, trading is very discriminatory. And the more money that you have, the easier it is. What do you do if you're just getting started and you have a small amount? I, I think this is fantastic. You can go start with, you know, I put a hundred bucks. You can go start with 20 bucks if you want to. Um, so the broker that we use, the broker that I recommend, the broker that I have vetted is uh, is Calshi. And you can go there by going to the URL, go to the website, tradingbinaryideas.com. You can sign up there for free. Doesn't cost you any money. There's no maintenance charges. There's no monthly fees. It's free. You can go there, sign up for free. Go trade 20 bucks. <laughs> you know, go start with whatever number you feel comfortable with. But I would highly encourage you if you are looking for ways to create edge in your trading. I think this is a fantastic uh, way to do that. So you can go to tradingbinaryideas.com and uh, get your account set up there. I love them. We trade them every day. And one of the things that this has done for us in our live trading room is we just have a lot more at bats now. Um, you know, uh, today uh, we have three zero DTEs working all simultaneously. We've got the event contract working. Um, we've got the, the SPX and the NDX working that I just show you. Uh, and so it just gives you, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's many days where we're knocking down four zero DTEs in a day. We're, we, we, we used to do three zero DTEs a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and we're doing upwards of 20 a week now. Uh, and binary zero DTE options have been a big part of that process of getting more volume under our belt. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Check it out. If you want to get a hold of me, you can at scottstewartcontacts.com. Also, make sure that you're going to this website every day. We put our intraday support resistance levels up for the S&P and the NDX. And those are levels that we trade off of. And uh, yeah, not for nothing, but it's, 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 those levels have been pretty darn good for us uh, as we've been going forward. Uh, so check that out. And then again, guys, thank you so much. Hope this is helpful for you. Um, I just wanted to share this real quickly because I think that, look, here's a, here's a shocker for you. Trading is hard. <laughs> trading is difficult. And trading successfully is even harder. So anytime you can find anything that gives you an edge, man, it's, it's probably, it's probably worth checking out, right? So thank you guys. I, I appreciate you. And, uh, um, let me know if you have any questions on this. Uh, love to be, to, to chat with you about your experiences with event contracts.